the second problem from pre-RMO 2018. It's a problem from an Indian Olympiad. And it starts with a kite. Uh, the kite has sides A, B, C, D. And this point is suppose A. This is B. So A, B and A, D are equal to 13. And uh, then you then you can draw B, C and C, D. Something like this. So B, C and C, D. These are 20. So that's a kite. And uh, it's also given that B, D is 24. B, D is 24. So this diagram is not drawn to scale. But um, we are interested in the radius of a circle that can be inscribed inside the quadrilateral. So basically, we have a circle which can be inscribed inside the quadrilateral. So maybe you can go out like this. Okay. Uh, so what is it that we are trying to show here? Uh, we want to show that um, we want to find the integer that is close to R. So R is the radius or the in radius of the uh, of this particular circle, and we want to find the integer close to R. Now, before we solve the problem, let's uh, give you the big picture so that you can try it on your own. So, the big picture is the following. Uh, the in radius of any polygon, the in radius of any polygon is related, is related to the area of the polygon, to the area in a very simple way. So if R is the in radius, if R is the in radius and delta is the area, then r times the semi perimeter is always equal to the area of the quadrilla of the, of the polygon so here let me write this r is the in radius provided you can inscribe a circle s is the semi perimeter semi perimeter and delta is the area of the polygon area of the polygon so this is a very powerful formula that uh, you can remember semi perimeter is basically you add the length of the sides and divide that sum by two uh, now the question is why is this formula true so suppose we have a circle which is the in circle of a polygon uh, any polygon so for the purpose of this picture let's uh, draw a pentagon yeah so suppose we have a pentagon in which we can inscribe a circle so a b c d e so basically this circle has the sides of the pentagon as tangents so just to clarify, not all polygons will have this property. We may not be able to inscribe circle in, in, in a particular polygon. All right, so suppose this is the center of the circle. Let's call it O. Uh, now there is something very nice that we can do. Mm, what we will do is we will join each of the vertices, each of the vertices of this polygon, in this case the pentagon with the center so we have five triangles we have five triangles now if you join the center if you join the center with the point of tangencies if you join the center with the point of tangencies this is the all of them will be right angles because obviously uh, radius is right ang at right angle with the tangent at the point of tangency so now if we wanted to compute the area of each of these triangles 
So let's say we want to compute the area of triangle OAB. Then that is equal to half times this length, which is the radius, radius times AB. Similarly, the area of triangle OBC is half times radius times BC. Triangle OCD is half times radius times CD. So you can see the pattern, right? It's basically every time you multiply half with the in radius and then you just multiply it with the side, which is the base of the triangle. So finally, OAE is half times radius times AE. Now, if you add the areas of all of these triangles, you will, you will get the area of this pentagon. And that's exactly what we will do. So area of pentagon is the sum of the areas of all of these triangles and that's equal to half times R times AB plus BC plus CD plus DE plus AE. But this is precisely the perimeter of the pentagon. So half of that, half times the perimeter is the semi-perimeter. So this is R times S. That's what the area is. And this exact proof will hold for any polygon in which you can inscribe a uh, circle. So this is, we will be using this particular um, tool to solve this problem from Priya Remote 2018. Uh, it's a very nice geometry problem. Uh, give it a try. The link in the description will take you to the main discussion page. And uh, uh, then you can probably go to the second uh, section of this lecture. Thank you.